RV, you, you and the Storms have a long, rich history and a proud heritage. Uh, I know you must have given some thought to, you know, what happens after you and Julie are no longer running a place, and what do you see for the future of, of people who want to stay in agriculture? Uh, George, it, it looks bad, the whole I can say. I would like to go back to about 39, <coughs> early 40s. Like I say, I live four miles, dripping train, four miles dripping. And I can saddle my horse, ride in dripping springs in 20 minutes, four miles. I might not even be the automobile, but if I did, they'd speak. I'd either know him or he'd know me, or whether I'd hear him or not, they would always speak. Two weeks ago, I was to be a mechanic at my gate, front gate up there, work on my track motor. I got there a quarter to late. He showed up at 8.30. That's 45 minutes. And can any of you guess how many automobiles went up 150 in 45 minutes time? Just, just guess. 100, 1,000. And every 10th one had a telephone there. <laughs> there was 252. Automobile, which school has four school buses, and behind them school buses there's four or five cars. My mama's little darling didn't want to ride that school bus. I had walked to school, and there'd be a four or five cars taking the kids to school, and that's what we're looking at. Uh, it's just getting too crowded. I mean, I don't know why I can't solve the problem, but it used to be open country, but it's not not that way no longer. And used to, when I had a kid before Mr. Storm bought that place over there, <coughs> everybody in the country had a pack of hounds and uh, run fox, you know. Lewis Cage had a hounds, and Kite Meyer li lived right across there where, uh, you remember where Mr. Meyer lived? Well, where, uh, anyway, just across the road from But every, uh, Echo Z, uh, everybody had a pack of hounds. You go out there any night and hear them dogs running fox. Well, about in the late 40s, 45, people, when they started selling them places up, they didn't want them hounds to run. They run and disturbing the deer. Well, a dog in the, uh, might run a deer, but that deer is coming back to his train. But they had to, uh, the dog, you go out there now, you I miss it. You don't hear a, can't hear a dog no more, you know. And, uh, but it's, it's a, a hard for me to believe how a thing has changed the past, just the past one year. If you do hear a dog, it's usually bad news. <laughs> They're usually after somebody's goats or something. And then, you know, that's, that is bad news for the dog and the people. Right, you're lawnmowers.